Welcome to the Accessible Art History YouTube channel. Today we are going to compare two works of art depicting the same subject. Both Michelangelo and Bernini created sculptures of the biblical figure David during their careers. This video will discuss both their similarities and their differences. Before we delve into the art, it is important to understand the story of David. He was born to a large family, the youngest of eight sons. His family were shepherds. When David was a teenager, the prophet Samuel anointed him as the next king of Israel. He was introduced to the current king, Saul, and became his personal musician. At this time, Israel was at war with the Philistines. Their champion was a giant named Goliath. He challenged the Israelites by stating he would fight their champion in single combat. None of the Israelites volunteered, too scared of Goliath's size. But David offered himself up, wanting to spare his people from a lengthy and bloody battle. On the outside, it looked as if it would be an easy victory for Goliath, but David had his tenacity and his faith. He took a rock and loaded it into his slingshot. Winding up, David aimed at Goliath's head. The shot was true, and David slayed the giant. This biblical story of the underdog winning the day for his people has been one of the most popular in the history of art. Next, we are going to look at two of the most famous examples. Michelangelo's David is a quintessential work of Renaissance sculpture. Created between 1501 and 1504, he carved a statue from a piece of discarded marble. It was originally meant to be a part of a series featuring Old Testament figures, but it was so impressive that it became a featured solo piece. Standing at around 17 feet tall, the David dominates a space. Today you can view it at the Galleria dell'Accademia in Florence, Italy. Michelangelo sculpted his David in the classical heroic nude style of ancient Greece. His hips are shifted slightly, a pose called contrapposto. David stands stoically and stares off into the distance, contemplating his task at hand. The viewers are given clues to his story. His left hand has the sling over his shoulder while his right hand clutches the stone. Masterfully, Michelangelo was able to convey the tension in David's pose. His eyes are slightly squinted, as if he is sizing up his opponent. The muscles in his neck and shoulders are tensed up. It could be conveying nerves, but it could also be David's adrenaline preparing him for the fight ahead. About 120 years after Michelangelo's work, Bernini sculpted his own David. It was commissioned by Cardinal Scipione Borghese and worked on between 1623 and 24. The Cardinal was one of Bernini's first patrons, which is why many of his works are still in the Borghese Gallery today. What makes this work so remarkable is that David isn't contained within the allotted space. He is dynamic and moves outside of his sphere. This was a novelty in Baroque art. It was a style of sculpture not seen since Hellenistic Greece. Bernini likely got his inspiration from the Borghese Gladiator, a 2nd century BCE sculpture discovered in Rome around 1600. In this work, we see David wearing his shepherd's attire. He is in the middle of winding up his swing, preparing to send the death blow to Goliath. David's face is contorted with emotion. We see anger, determination, fear, and bravery etched in his muscles. The viewer can feel these things along with David, causing us to cheer him on. The biggest difference between these two statues is the depiction of emotion. Michelangelo's version is calm, but Bernini's is fraught with tension. This has to do with the difference in artistic ideals between the Renaissance and Baroque periods. The Renaissance was all about bringing back classical motifs and ideals. Images were calm, thoughtful, and balanced, whereas the Baroque era was all about the drama and raw human feeling. Another major difference is the clothing, or lack thereof. As mentioned above, Michelangelo used classical nude sculptures from ancient Greece as his inspiration. Bernini chose to strategically drape shepherd's garb over his David. Again, this has to do with the ideals of their separate artistic styles. Renaissance art focuses on its connection to the past, while Baroque art focuses on the moment. The final difference between these two works are the moments that the artist chose to depict. Michelangelo focuses on the moment before battle, as David surveys the scene before him, while Bernini chose to sculpt David about to launch the deadly stone. We see the Renaissance and Baroque styles contrasting here yet again. Careful calculation versus passionate intent. Both of these works are masterpieces of their times. Created 120 years apart, we get to see the stark contrast between the Renaissance and Baroque artistic ideals. However, either way, we are still able to be inspired by David's bravery.